Hello, welcome everyone to our Instagram live and happy new year. 2022 just started, but I really hope it's treating you very well. We are at first week of January. <laughs> well, I really hope it's already treating you very well. Very excited to see you joining us today, whether live or watching the recording. Today, we'll continue the conversation about goal setting. I don't know if you remember, if you watched the video uh, last month, last year, <laughs> uh, we talked about how to set goals. It was a year-end reflection. So today, we'll continue that conversation and we'll talk about ways to maintain momentum on your goals for the new year. Because, I mean, setting goals is one thing, but keeping them and working on them is a completely different thing, right? And it's very difficult. We also created a poll about it on Twitter and on LinkedIn. So let us know your thoughts by casting your vote at Mana Hours on Twitter and at Mana.ai on LinkedIn. And don't forget to follow us there to stay updated. And before I forget, since we're talking about following us, we are almost at 100 followers here on Instagram. I know it's not a big number, but it is big for us. So let's connect and help us reach this milestone by following us today. Just watch the video and then go to the account and follow us. Before we start, let us know where you are watching from. And while we wait for more people to join us, I will introduce myself. My name is Sabrina Cadini. I'm a holistic life coach specializing in epigenetics, helping busy professionals live and work better thanks to customized lifestyle interventions. And I'm also the director of coaching here at MANA, helping our users take control of the most valuable resource that we have in the world, which is time. I was on Twitter today. I was reading a lot of great tweets from one of the accounts that we follow. And they had such great advice about mastering your time because then you can master your life. And when you're able to be in control of your life, then you're able to be in control of your life and really enjoy it. It's so, so, so important that you value the time that you spend every single minute because then you can have great results in your life and in your workplace, in your work, in your business, in what you do in your career. If you are not a MANA user yet, you should try because we built a time tracking app that uses machine learning technology to predict future behavior and integrations with a variety of applications to drive peak performance in people, teams, and companies. MANA allows you to automatically track how you spend all of your time. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it is, and it helps you spend it better, create goals, see their progress, and stay motivated along the way together with one-on-one -on -one coaching. The app also encourages self-awareness with reflection and journaling so that you can learn how to maximize your performance and avoid burnout. I will show you later how you can do all this in MANA. So if you'd like to check us out, go to mana.ai, download the app, then schedule a session with one of our coaches to know more and start taking advantage of all the wonderful features to spend your time on what matters most. So we don't have enough time for anything today, right? We live in a fast paced society that kills our time and we always say yes to everything. And at the end of the day, we find ourselves without anything, right? We didn't accomplish what we wanted. We didn't spend time on our loved ones. We didn't spend time on ourselves. So we really, really need to know where our time is going and how we are spending it. All right. So let's dive right into our topic for today. So as I mentioned at the beginning, in our last video, I guided you through a year-end reflection and I gave you some prompts to set goals for the new year. If you missed that video and you would like to watch it, we have it here in our library. So you can go to the previous post here on Instagram, or if you're watching on YouTube, go to YouTube and watch the previous uh, video. So today I'll share some tips on how to uh, maintain momentum and stay on track with your goals because I mean, let's face it, let's face it, working on your goals can be very difficult or overwhelming on top of everything else that you have to take care of every day from your work to your family, maybe school, 
and who knows what else might happen. And people often give up on their goals for many reasons. Maybe they don't have a system to work on them, maybe they're not motivated enough, or those goals are simply not aligned with their vision and priorities. Maybe there are goals that their spouses or friends suggested because they could be good for them. No wonder that working on your goals for an entire year can seem impossible, right? So here are my three tips for you to succeed. You may have tried them already. You may be using them, but a little refresher doesn't hurt. And believe me, a lot of people are not able to follow up on their goals and to maintain momentum on their goals. After one to two months, they give up because they don't really know what to do with them. <laughs> right? So I really think, I really hope that these three tips will be very helpful for you to stick to your goals and be able to succeed and get to the end of the year and say, I'm so proud of myself for doing this, right? So tip one, I think this is probably the most important one. Write down your goals, put them on paper and review them periodically to make sure that you're on the right track. Just to give you an idea uh, with some numbers, a survey conducted by a Harvard Business Study on goal setting revealed that 83% of participants had no goals. Think about it, 83% is a lot. 14% had plans, but they had not written down their goals. And the study found that this group was 10 times more likely to succeed than those without any goals. So that was a good start. And then 3% of the participants had written down their goals. Again, think about it, only 3%. It's such a small percentage. But you know what? They were three times more likely to succeed than the group who had some plan in mind. So as you can see, having a written plan gives you more advantage for different reasons. You will have better recall for information that you create yourself rather than for something that you simply read. You can quickly see how specific your goals are and define them even better if necessary. You are reinforcing the importance of those goals unconsciously because your brain will realize that it needs to pay more attention because you're giving a lot of attention by writing them on paper and it will be more willing to cooperate. And also it makes it easier to review your goals every week, every month, every quarter and measure the progress when they're written down. If you're just thinking about them, you may lose track of them. And this is a key step that gives you the opportunity to reevaluate them and change the course if you don't feel that those goals make sense for you anymore. You don't want to waste time on goals that are not aligned with your purpose or bring you happiness. And that's why you will lose momentum, right? Tip number two, start small and stick with your new habits. Another reason why people fail to achieve their goals is because they fail to stick to them. They set new goals, they get excited, but this only lasts for a short period of time because with new goals, they have to adopt new habits or make changes to their existing schedule. So basically they have to invest their time in a different way and it's hard, so hard. <laughs> and when they stop taking action, they give up. And if this has happened to you in the past, you are not the only one. I am one of them too. It definitely happened to me in the past as well. So the key is to start little and stay consistent without a lot of effort. Start little because again, you have a lot going on in your daily life. So you don't want to change your life completely. It will be too crazy. So start little and stay consistent without a lot of effort. How? By breaking down your goals in smaller, smaller steps that allows you to achieve them better and faster in some cases. Why does this happen? Well, because you see the progress. You see it every day. And even though it's a small one, it's something. 
And this is what will inspire you to continue the journey and stay motivated until the end. We are at tip number three. And tip number three is celebrate. People don't do it enough. Once they recognize they achieved a goal, they move on to the next one. But you should acknowledge your efforts and be proud of yourself. You accomplished something very important. And I suggest celebrating in two ways. Number one would be celebrate every single achievement. You don't have to wait until the big milestone. Otherwise, you don't see the progress, right? So, for instance, you can reward yourself every month for what you have done. And you will see how your motivation stays high when you reward yourself often, helping you keep that momentum. And the second way to celebrate is by sharing your achievement with someone. This makes it even more satisfying when you can tell others how proud you are of your achievements. And this is a little bonus tip. If you can involve someone else during your goal journey, even better, because a partner can support you and hold you accountable. Plus, energy is contagious. Don't you agree? And it can fire both of you with more motivation and then you can celebrate together. Yay, I need confetti here <laughs> to celebrate. Now, we at MANA strongly believe in goal setting. And our app can be very helpful to reflect, create goals, track the progress, and achieve them thanks to the tracking uh, feature, the reflection tool, and the journaling. Uh, and not only that, working with our MANA coaches can help you keep track of your goals, hold you accountable, and achieve them. We can be your perfect accountability partners when it comes to working on your goals. So I will switch my camera and I will show you how MANA can help you create a goal and keep the momentum. All right, so right now I'm showing you the goals uh, screen and I have two goals for this week, for this year. Uh, this is my book writing, which is still from last year, and it's still continuing because, of course, I wasn't able to hit it in December, and I was so disappointed, but other things came up, and that's okay. And then I have a new project uh, to be more consistent with my video posting on YouTube. Um, so here I can see the progress, and what I wanted to show you also is the reflection tab, which is so instrumental because here I can see how I am spending my time. I can see how my 168 hours every week are spent, are invested, are utilized. And then by looking at these, number for, these numbers for every week, I can decide what worked, what didn't, and I can change the course. I can review not only my goals, and this one was excellent. See, I was able to hit my target last week for this project on YouTube. But I can also see what I am doing as far as my health or my fun activities or my work activities. And I can decide where I am hitting my goals and my to-dos and my tasks and my projects or where I need to change something and how I can improve, how can I, I, I can maybe uh, increase number of hours for a specific project. This is a great visual representation of your hours, of your time that is being spent every day, every week, every month, every quarter, and even every year. By clicking on this, you will be able to select how you want to take a look at your time spent. So as you can see, MANA can offer you a lot of different tools uh, to really be in control of your time. And again, as I said, this is our most valuable resource we have in life. Once we're able to master our time, we're able to master our life and enjoy it. Not only for ourselves, but also for our loved ones, for the people around us, right? So uh, if you'd like to know more about MANA, you can go to mana.ai forward slash download that's the download page where you can download the app and also the desktop app we have it available for windows and mac and the mobile app is available for ios and android so no excuses you have the right system where you can use and download your app 
and um, and schedule a session with our coaches to know more about how you can maximize the use of the app and how you can you know increase the way you spend your time and spend it better. I don't know if you have any questions for me regarding today's topic on how to maintain momentum on your goals or maybe about our app. So I'll wait a few more seconds while you type your questions in the comment box. And, um, and again, I would like to remind you that we would love to see you following us on our social media accounts. You can find us on Twitter at Mana Hours here on Instagram, if you're just watching because you just landed on this video, but you didn't know about us, follow us at Mana Hours here on Instagram and also on LinkedIn at mana.ai. Awesome. So again, don't forget to download the, the app at mana.ai forward slash download and uh, you'll be able to learn tips and strategies on how you can spend your time better and how to create and keep track and achieve fantastic goals for the new year. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in two weeks with another great topic. How can time tracking boost your happiness? Oh my gosh, this will be amazing. I can't wait. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye guys.